Established in 1867, First Congregational Church of Los Angeles is the oldest Protestant church in continuous service in the city and the proud home to one of the world's largest and most thrilling pipe organs. We invite you to discover how this organ's majestic voice from the past continues to amaze listeners every week of the year. The great organs of First Church make up what is the largest pipe organ in any denominational church in the world today. This massive instrument actually contains several different organs located throughout the sanctuary. Located in chambers high on both sides of the chancel, the Seely Wintersmith Mud Memorial Organ was the first instrument to grace the sanctuary of First Church. The Frank C. Noon Memorial Organ stands in the West Gallery opposite the Mud Memorial Organ. Its stately wooden case forms an impressive frame to the great rose window. The Italian and Musicians' Gallery organs are situated directly above the Peace Shrine in the chancel. The Epistle organ is located in the south transept directly under the apostolic window. The Gospel organ is installed in the north transept under the Old Testament window. All of these organs can be played as one instrument by two identical five manual consoles located in the chancel and the west gallery. I came to First Church uh, years ago, it now seems like a hundred years ago, uh, when I uh, was a uh, first year student at uh, USC Law School. And I was fascinated uh, by the uh, organs of First Church. My experience with First Church actually goes back to about 1970, or for maybe I think it was April 71 I played my first recital on this particular organ, and I've probably played a dozen major ones since then, plus an infinite number of the weekday recitals. I remember when I first gave a concert here, I first spent an hour uh, simply trying every stop, and then uh, about another three hours registering my first piece. I first heard about the great organs of First Church when I was in my 20s, and I remember looking at the stop list, poring over the hundreds and hundreds of stop names and asking myself, what could they all sound like? I also remember seeing the wonderful organ recitalists that came here to play. 